morning students myself sangeeta devi from gk jain school raipuram in today's session we are going to see the chapter 9 fundamentals of hrm human resource management shortly we can call it as hrm why i have chose this chapter in the case because in the last session we have seen the uh, management process that under under that we have seen three chapters principles of management functions of management and then we have seen management by exception and management by objectives so these three chapters we have discussed so in the continuation of it you will learn that human resource management that is why we are going to the unit number 4 now so human resource management under that we have the chapter number 9 fundamentals of hr fundamentals of hr first we need to know what is human resource then only we can know human resource management and Way. So first thing we are going to learn the meaning of HR. HR in the case, uh, HR who is I mean the every office of the person one who recruits the other persons we can call them as HR. In the same way, who what the activities being done by them, what is the role and everything we will discuss in this chapter. First, human resource. Human resource only will uh, suggest the success of the enterprise. I can tell it in the such a way because when the human resource have the high capacity if they are able to bring the new innovations and creativity in the business they can bring the very level very lower level company also to the top level that all can be done with the help of the human resource only so the human resource is the uh, only thing will decide the success of the enterprise so when we want to get a success the management or the organization needs to recruit and select a person who has the high talent high skills high competence or high capacities so such a persons only if they recruit they can bring their company to the very best level so this is what the hr meaning is so the hr in the case with the we are all moving on to the very fast technology that the globalization privatization liberalization all being done we have many advancement in the communication and the technology if i example will give you so that you will understand in a better way first when a person is being recruited he, he doesn't have the knowledge and the information technology at all he does not even know how to use the mobile phone or how to use the internet facility in a such a case if he does not know how to use it if i select that a person in my company and i want to bring my company whether it is be able to be easier no it is be very difficult because if when i don't recruit the persons with the apparent knowledge of what it is being required in the today's market in today's market we want to recruit a person who is having very high quality so in a such a way only i should recruit that person so if when i got the organization is recruiting a person he should select the persons with the evident or with a uh, um, ample of knowledge about uh, today's information and technology so that only will helpful be in the help it will be helpful when i recruit such a person it will be helpful so if i recruit and i get the knowledge or innovation creativity from that person it can improve my company from lower level or middle level to the higher level so we have learned what is the meaning of hr now we move on to the characteristics of hr hr in the characteristics of hr now we will learn what are its meaning first one factor of production we have factor of production for land labor like that you will have learned the factor of production capital organization this four thing you will have learned under the factor of production that one labor we will have that is only the factor of production hr the characteristics of hr is the factor of production hr will be the one of the factor of production next is created other resource he only created the other resource hr only created all the other resource like land or the capital maybe or organization whatever the other all the resources it has been created only by the hr now next point exhibits innovation and creativity only this uh, hr only can bring the new innovations and the creativity in the business because he only will be given authority to the, do such a actions so it can bring the business to the next level next is alone can think act analyze and interpret now we move on to one by one now hr only will recruit the other persons uh, everyone will know that in every organization or every company the hr only will recruit the other person 
so he will only think and act and analyze analyze in the case we have different departments in each company we uh, have finance department we have purchase department we have marketing department we have sales department so for each department we want how much percent that and all will be needs to be analyzed if we have lack of uh, human resource that in the case we have only less number of members in the company uh, in the in a such a department they cannot give their best to do that organization so in order to get the best from them uh, they an uh, hr needs to analyze it okay this much of uh, members is being required required in this department or uh, one ten members is required for production department ten members so they needs to analyze and interpret okay this much is sufficient they need to work on it he needs to think act analyze and interpret next is motivated either financially or non financially the hr will be hr or the employees whoever it might be who they will be motivated either financially in the case by form of a cash or check or non financially in the case it can be given some uh, perquisites we can tell because in the any other like uh, giving them some coupons or vouchers like that non financially also they can be motivated next is behavior unpredictable for every man or a woman the character is unpredictable like the same way the behavior of the human resource is also unpredictable next one is appreciates appreciates in the case the hr only will appreciates the other employees and he also the value of himself also can be appreciated like if example i'll tell you the land only thing Uh, of the assets we have learnt on the accountancy, what is the assets? Fixed assets. Other than land, everything will depreciate. Am I right? Because every year after year, the plant and machinery every year after year it got due to wear and tear of the assets, it get the value gets reduced. But the land only will increase the value. So like how it is being appreciated in the same way, the HR is also being appreciated. how because he can develop his own skills by knowing the other uh, informations uh, by through uh, visiting the websites and learning that so he can increase the skills by increasing the skills it can be appreciated so this is what the characteristics of hr next is movable movable in the case uh, other land and all it cannot be moved we have learned the factor of production for the like organization or capital or the uh land cannot be moved but the human resource can be moved next is human resource can work as a team work as a team in the case they can work under the one team to get their best result uh the human resource can go and sit with the other all departments and can work as a team this much of production is required this much of sales is required this much of marketing uh, skills needs to be given so like that they can split up their works and can work as a team to get the success next is emotional beings only the resource which has the emotional beings like emotions in the case we will cry we will be happy we will be sad like we all have the emotions like same way the human resources also have the emotional beings so these are the points of the characteristics of human resource so first one is factor of production human resource can be a one or only one of factor of production next is created other resource the human resource only created all the other resources exhibits innovation and creativity the hr alone only exhibit and bring the new innovation and creativity the hr alone can think act analyze and interpret hr that is the human resource motivated either financially or non financially next is behavior unpredictable behavior unpredictable in the case the behavior of the human beings is unpredictable so likewise the behavior of the human resource is also unpredictable like other all fixed assets will depreciate only the land will appreciate by the same way the hr was also appreciated by means of he can visit the other websites and can gain the knowledge and can increase his skills by that the human resource can be appreciated next is the only human beings give will be a movable other factor of production is not a movable one next is work as team work as team in the case they can split up their works among them and can work as a team to bring their success next is the emotional beings 
uh, the human resource is only the emotional beings where they can have their happy sadness whatever written the case they can have all the other emotions so these are the points of the characteristics of hr now significance of hr we are going to see the importance of hr we have learned the what is the characteristics of hr we move on to the importance like significance of hr first one other resources effectively used only through the human resource all the other resources are being utilized that is in the case we have the other resources like land capital that is we call call it as a factor of production one of them is the labor so we can have the labor like the last we will tell it because labor only we are with this only it is all being correlated and the other all resources being effectively used for this we all will give them some benefit rewards like that land we will give them what like uh, we will give them rent like capital we will pay them interest organization will get profit labor will get wages so like all this the resources being given and it is all only done through this all other resources being effectively used now we move on to the next point important resource growth that is the human resource is only resource important resource because it only decides the growth of the organization next one is human relations possible human relation is possible in the case only through this human resource the human relationship is possible we have learned the characteristics emotional beings that on that all like a, it a human resource only can be friendly with the other persons like that they can show them kind and they can get their works through that measures also so the human resource uh, relation is possible only through this hr next is managers other factor of production like i have told you we have the land capital organization so this labor only that we are ha having this different terminologies hr so this hr only will manage the other all other all um, factor of production so the factor of productions will all be managed by this hr next is training and development program that is skill of the hr will be developed by the through training and development programs next one utilized at all levels of management utilized at the all levels of management is that the hr we have learned the structure of management itself top middle lower so this hr only can be utilized at all levels of management so this was all the importance of hr we have the other resources effectively used that in the case all the rewards are given by to the uh, land capital organization like other all resources effectively will be used only through hr next is important resource growth this hr is only the important resource where it decides the growth of the organization human resource human relation is possible in the case the human resource only can be uh, the human relations like uh, we can show the kind or some things to affections to the uh, employees so that they can work next is managers other factor of productions other factor of productions land capital organization all the factor of productions will be managed only by this hr next one is training development programs that is skill of the uh, human resource Uh, can be developed through training and development program so that they can know new new technologies what is being developed in the market next is utilized at all levels of management we have the structure of management three top middle lower at all levels the hr can be utilized so these are the significance of hr we have learned today that what is the characteristics of hr and next we have learned what is the significance of hr still now we have learned only the human resource we are in the next session we will learn about human resource management thanks for watching